Hello guys and welcome to my Kerbal Space Program tutorial. My name is Heretic391 and we're going to be blowing some shit up. Now I'm just going to make the most basic rocket or jet or whatever you want to call it just to start off with. Now this is jet fuel fuselage. Perfect. We need that. We need that. That's um, engines. Turbo jet engine. Sounds fast. Aerospike rocket. Yeah, let's try that. Okay, this is probably going to be a disaster. Let's put some wheels. Small gear bay. Symmetry. Symmetry. Get that shit there. Done. Excellent. Let's add another wheel. Just the front. Right. Uh, get that. Okay, this is just a failure. Uh, maybe we should put some wings. Structural Canid. Mm, very interesting name. Shove it right there. Okay, guys. Let's die. Ooh, let's make this. Let's name it. Bomb M1. Mark 1. Bomb Mark 1. It's gonna blow up. La 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 la. Come on. Skip tutorial. Skip tutorial again. Okay. Now. We will should be able to get this going. It looks like it will go straight off in an angle up into the air. G is for retracting these wheels. Um, w, S, A, and D is for moving around. Let's get ready. Ready, set, space. <laughs> Okay, I was not prepared for that. Not prepared. Let's restart. <laughs> okay, that was weird. Jebby Dye Kerman was killed. Poor guy. What? What? Wasn't he killed? Wait a second. If we restart, then he comes back to life. Ooh, EVA. Ooh, nice. So if you click the EVA, this Kerman guy will actually come out. Um... Oh god, I don't, I don't want to get away. I want to stay on this damn jet. I have an idea. Okay, okay. We're going to press spacebar. What the f... Oh. Take him out. <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> uh, okay, that's really good. Um, well, we do have a problem with our jet. I think we better restart. Let's make a new jet. Okay, back. Let's take this shit off. Take these wheels. Yep, don't need them. This thing looks a bit too powerful. We need to lengthen up this jet. Okay, so we have fuel. That's obviously what we need. What's this? Structural fuselage. No fuel. Carries no fuel. Is a merely a structural element. Okay. Okay, okay. And I know that there is advanced SAS, SAS module and a, another module. Okay, these are for automatic balancing and whatnot. You guys will figure it out. So let's put the structural fuselage, then the fuel. Yep, yeah, looking good. Um, basic jet engine. I think I like this this turbo jet engine more than the basic. <laughs> turbo sounds faster. <laughs> okay, now, um, I think we better put some wings. Yeah. Structural wing, looks good. Let's uh, put symmetry on. Let's shove that shit right Yeah. What's wrong with this? There we go. Excellent. Uh, no, that looks like a rocket. Um, let's add small control service. What you do is you click it once. When you put it right there where it belongs, you'll notice it's on the wrong angle. What you do is you can click W, w on your keyboard and then uh, left click on your mouse, which will actually place it in the correct position. Um, yeah, that looks pretty good. Maybe we'll need a structural canid one on the roof part here. Yep, that looks good. I don't think the lift rating is going to be very good, but we can test that out. Now, Let's shove some 
another small gear bay. This is also another issue, guys, when you're placing it down. You need to take off the uh, snap to angles option. You're going to make sure the circle is on when doing this, and you'll actually place it on properly. And make sure, don't forget, with the symmetry. Looking good, looking good. Okay. Now let's add a small gear bay, take off symmetry. Yeah, shove it right there. Oh, let's put the snap to angles for this one. Yep, that's it. Okay. Now, guys, if you see on the uh, bottom right-hand corner, you see the this is a jet engine. These are some useless stuff. This is the fuel. Um, you can have these in sequence. I'll show you guys later. And let's name this bomb mark two. Okay, launch. Get ready to die. Come on. Come on. Yes, yes. Right now it's loading, just doing the mathematical calculations probably. Oh, that's a nice view, didn't realize that before. <laughs> okay. Um, to get this SAS module working, you have to click T on your keyboard, and you will see SAS is on. You can take it off by clicking T as well. Um, if you click R, RCS is the um, air, when air pops out. Yeah, but we don't have any of those things yet. I'll show you guys that later as well. So put the SAS module on, let's go full, full throttle by holding down the uh, shift button and you'll see it went up. Space. Oh shit. What? Okay, we're going, we're going. Um, A, D. Shit, the button. Take the beat. Lift up. Lift up. Why is this lifting? We got to get it. Jeep to protect the wheels. Okay, we are going. Yes, and the volume's too loud. Settings. Um. Oh, okay. Audio volume, spacecraft, twelve. Just click and drag. Apply. Failure. Well, all right, guys. I am back from changing the sound, and I just constructed this cool as rocket slash jet. And we're gonna test it out. And just to let you guys know, it does go into space, but not for too long. Just for a bit. Now, what should we do? T, full throttle, space bar. It's going. Now on the uh, left hand side, you will see how there are two engines, which are two ones here on the side. And then there's a third, which is the middle one. I've made synchronize them be in a certain order. So when I get into, when I get pretty high, I'll load up the uh, the next engine. So T, let's click T, just our height. Oh yeah, this is really good with balancing. Okay, G, check those damn wheels. Always an issue. It's not automated, unfortunately. And this is looking really good. Yeah. Say bye. Des Wise coming. Des Wise. Des Wise, why are you so scared? Poor Des Wise. It's not very wise. Oh, there is overheat on these engines. Oh, and I forgot something. I'll show you guys later. <laughs> Still going. Almost 300 meters per second. And now, going good. What was that? What, what is that line? You guys see that? Must be the atmosphere. Oh, we need to click space bar very soon for this next engine. It going higher. And these engines are airflow is slowing down rapidly. Efficiency, I think that's got to do with the fuel. You click space bar now. And this is awesome. Whee, let's go to the moon. Yeah, this is going pretty fast. Fuel is going down. We are leaving this Kerbin's program or whatever it is. Planet. Some nice views down there. I think. Okay. Yeah, there's like 
down there. Oh, what happened? Oh, we're done. The fuel's gone. The fuel is gone. Oh, we reached orbit too. <laughs> we're in orbit. <laughs> and I think this is probably how high we're actually going to go before we come crashing down. So, looking good. <laughs> and I said that twice. So, this is one of our goals, to go to the moon. I'm not sure what it's called. It's probably Mun or something. Then there's another Minmus. Mun. And Bomb. <laughs> What's that? Bomb. <laughs> Bomb. And there is also the sun. The funniest thing, I find it easier to go to the sun than the moon. It's just some unusual reason. But I mean go to the sun, I mean orbit it. Orbiting the moon is just difficult for me. We'll do that someday. Anyway, um, let's practice some EVA stuff. Let's take him out. Let's space to let go. Oh, we are in orbit. Click R to maneuver around using these this air stuff. And shift is to go up. Control to go down. W, S, D, and E to maneuver you around. And we are going away. We Oh, go back. Go back. This thing's going to start falling. Um, I'm not sure if we were to... It's Damn this. Not easy to control. Come on. Crash. <laughs> um, we want to board. F, F. Damn. Um, down. F. Excellent. Okay. Let's go F again to board. Um, we are falling down now. Slowly. Let's try and make the best of this. Let's put the nose down. That way we can like, cut through the air. And these wings are quite huge. We need another engine. Yeah. Oh, this is going to take some time. We can't fast forward. Nope. Looks like, um, in previous versions of Kerbal Space Program, you could actually fast forward while you were in the atmosphere. It was quite useful. Well, um, that's it for Deswise. He will stay here. Well, he will not be rescued. We may crash down and land on him one day, but that's about it. So, guys, um, thanks for watching. This is the end of the episode. I'll make some more. If you guys like me to make something cooler, any designs you have, just, you know, write down in the comments and I will take you up on the offer. Alright, see you guys.